To breaking news, the pipeline fire that continues to burn where Laporte meets Deer Park. It has been burning now for more than 20 hours. Investigators believe it was all sparked by a car that crashed into an above ground valve off the Spencer Highway. ABC 13's Brandon Hamilton joining us live this morning just down the street. And Brandon, what have we learned overnight? Well, Samika, we are learning more about the next steps. Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo says once the fire is out, first responders will return to the site to reignite it to burn off any remaining product. But for now, as you can see, this fire is, is still burning, expect it to last at least through the morning. Again, authorities is telling us they believe the driver of a white SUV drove through a fence on the west side of the Walmart parking lot. Witnesses also telling us when the SUV hit the gas pipeline valve, it went airborne. Then there was fire everywhere. That valve, authorities say, is adjacent to the Walmart. Witnesses believe the woman was possibly experiencing some kind of medical emergency. Details about the driver have not been released. Hank Williams says he was at the discount tire when he heard a loud boom. I stepped around the counter and I could see the vehicle, but it was on fire. He said when it went off, he saw it and that vehicle was about eight or 10 foot in there and he saw it land. And again this morning, details about that driver have not been released, but the investigation is still ongoing. And as far as people returning, we're told this area will have to cool down first before anyone will be allowed back inside of their homes. Reporting live this morning in Deer Park, Brandon Hamilton, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Brandon, thank you so much. Sky Eye 13 was first over the scene of the fire yesterday. Don Armstrong, part of our nonstop coverage. I was there with him during the 10 o'clock hour when we first spotted this. Don is back now above the fire. Don, how does it look to you now compared to yesterday at 10 o'clock? Jacob, the flames now are about a third of what they were yesterday morning when we got here shortly after this explosion and fire from this pipeline. And I want to focus in on the homes in this neighborhood that is right next to this easement here where all of the pipelines are located. As you can see, firefighters still putting a lot of water on all of the homes that are adjacent to this fire give you an example of how hot the fire is. Look at the top of that home right there. You can see that the flames have actually made a difference in the roof there. It looks like it's burned or melted and you can see that a lot of uh, firefighting equipment is still here on the ground putting water on the home so they don't catch fire. As far as the Walmart that we keep referring to, it is right there in the lower right hand side of your screen and that is where uh, Reliant is actually staged uh, equipment to re-establish uh, power in the area that is out now for about 300 homes in the area. Wow. Right live from Sky, Don Armstrong, ABC 13, Eyewitness News. And Take Don, it. can I ask you about the road closures? Are they about the same right now as they were? It doesn't look like there's anyone on the street there. No, no, there's no one here, and the road closures remain in place here in the Deer, Deer Park and Laporte area up and down Spencer Highway. All right, Don, thank you so much. Those are incredible images. Rita? Wow, even now. Yeah, Jacob, thank you. We are getting an update on how this fire is currently impacting the area schools. We'll start off with Laporte ISD. They say campuses are going to be back in session today, despite two schools being under shelter in place orders yesterday. You know, the district warns, however, that regular routes to Heritage and College Park Elementary may not be accessible. So just give yourself some extra time, okay? You'll have to get creative. Uh, San Jacinto College's central campus will also reopen today. Well, some good news here. The evacuation zone has gotten a little smaller as hours go by, but still the damage is done. Those flames so hot, siding on homes a quarter of a mile away was melting. And those who live on East Meadow Drive, the street closest to the fire in Deer Park, say they left in fear. It was loud, too. You, know, you could hear it. It was like, boom. It's like you could hear it. And it was like so close. It was it was shaking. My, my room was shaking. I was like, what was that? I, it freaked me out. Understandably terrified. It is not yet known how many homes have been damaged by this fire. Officials say once it cools down, they will be able to assess the area.
we've learned the pipeline is owned by a company called Energy Texas, according to the company's website. It transports about a third of the natural gas used in the country. ABC 13's Jeff Ealing joining us live now in the newsroom with more on the company's history. Jeff. Hey, good morning to you, Jacob. Fire erupted around 10 o'clock yesterday morning. It took about three hours for Energy Texas to claim that pipeline as their own. The company says a car struck a 20 inch wide pipeline carrying natural gas liquids along Spencer Highway and East Meadow Drive. They said the line has been isolated, so the residual product remaining in the line can safely burn off. The last time we know of an energy transfer pipeline in our area uh, having a fire was back in 2022. That fire threw flames 300 feet into the air just west of Fort Bend County. No one was injured in that blast. 13 investigates pulled state and federal records on energy transfer, found no notable records from the Railroad Commission, which regulates oil and gas here in Texas. We also found no Texas Commission on Environmental Quality violations. However, we did find a 2022 OSHA violation. Energy transfer was slapped with a $14,000 fine for not making one of its Louisiana workplaces free of hazards. The Railroad Commission says that the pipeline safety inspectors are investigating this latest incident. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jeff Ealing, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Jeff, thanks so much for that. You know, there is also a helpline for anyone who's been impacted by this fire. Energy Transfer created the helpline, and we've got the number for you. It's 855-430-4491. Take a screenshot, if you will, so you can keep it. Deer Park officials say that anyone affected by the fire can call that number for assistance.